Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel, if you're new here. And this is my new little girl, Summer Avonlea. So, I have not filmed for a long time, and I tell you what, my brain almost feels like I don't even know how to do it anymore. This video is just gonna be a bit chatty. I'm gonna sit here and talk, hold my baby, and just give you guys a little bit of an update on our lives, and just how the last couple weeks have been. And I've gotta say, since I've been off of YouTube, and since she's been born, the last couple weeks have been absolutely the most incredible weeks of our lives. Exhausting, yes, but we just loved. I'm so glad I took time to just um, get to know my baby and bond with her and just soak in, just soak her in. She is absolutely the most um, awesome thing that's ever happened to us. And we, I don't know, it's just been so special having six weeks of just really having no commitments or very little and just getting to learn to be a mom and yeah i just absolutely would not trade um the last couple weeks of the quiet bonding time for nothing like i just wouldn't trade it and i hope i remember that for future children as well just how absolutely special it is to stay home and to love this baby and to yeah anyway i'll stop railing with that but i will say that i think the postpartum has gone so well for for me because of being able to rest like that and the biggest part of that is being, being able to have help so yeah my labor was pretty long very typical for first time moms but my labor was very long and hard but Troy was able to take off of work for about a week, which was just a tremendous blessing. I don't take that for granted, but wow, it was so special. And um, my mother-in-law would pop in and help. I had friends that would stop in, um, even just to hold the baby while I shower. I'll tell you what, new parents just need a lot of support. And um, it it was just incredible. We had, I had help like that, um, just to church people brought meals and different friends did too. And then my mom was able to come for over two weeks to come and help. And that was just huge, like a huge help. We benefited so much from people's care and love. And I don't know, I I just feel a whole new, like, I don't know, I just really appreciate all the help. And I think it has made our, it, I know it's made my postpartum so much better. Like I, I'm able to just completely enjoy her and have to think about all the other kind of, I didn't have to think about a bunch of other things and um, I could rest and yeah, I know that has affected me, that has made me not have bad baby blues. I just am so grateful for that. I am absolutely obsessed with the newborn stage, which is a complete shock to me because in the past, I don't know, I've always enjoyed babies that were more like six months old, nine months old. I really would start enjoying babies when they're a little older. But this newborn stage is so, so sweet. And I think, I mean, she's a happy baby for the most part. She has her days and nights still pretty mixed, still pretty uh, switched around. So we're pretty tired over here. But I would say overall, she is a very sweet, happy baby, which is awesome. I don't take it for granted, but I'm enjoying it while it lasts. And, um, but yeah. I just love the newborn stage. They say you have a newborn technically for like seven or eight weeks, I think. And I'm all it's like so sad how she's already outgrown her clothes and her pampers and all the little newborn stuff. Troy and I are like, oh, every day when we look at her, we're like, she's growing way too fast. And we're soaking it all in, but it almost feels like, man, time's a thief. Like I just loved her little tiny newborn stage. Anyways, and she's growing so much. I know I'll enjoy the other stages as well, but there's just something so sweet about a newborn. And especially with the Christmas season coming around, I've had a appreciation for the birth of Christ in a whole new way than I've ever, ever thought of it before. And just like what Mary went through and Oh, it's just incredible. Like, and I'm, I feel like it's pretty special to have a newborn over Christmas season. Like, it's, it's special. And I, I see, yeah, like I said, I see his birth in a whole new, in a whole new way. Anyways, she did have a bit of a, a lip tie, or she had a, a, a very big lip tie. So nursing has been so difficult. We did get that taken care of, um, but it didn't completely, you know, 100% solve the issue. Um, but it's getting better, I think. Every week it's getting better, so. I don't really need advice. I just have I have a lot of um, I have a lot of help and people that I go to for advice with that kind of thing. Yeah, we're 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 sticking to it. We're trying our best, and we're just trying to figure out this whole new mom thing. And yeah, it's just been it's been a lot better than I imagined it to be. 
So I'm gonna try to put some videos and pictures of the last couple weeks in this video just to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what it was like. It's a good thing to hit the notification button um, on my channel, like for my videos, because I do not know when the next video is gonna go out, so you'll be able to be notified when it does. I have a few really fun videos planned for the next couple of weeks, but I will say that YouTube is going to be just whenever I have the time. I want YouTube to be um, not something that just completely stresses me out, and my family is always going to be my first priority, and so it's going to be when I have time, and I'm still learning to juggle, you know, my household work and taking care of a newborn, and it's hard, you know? So um, YouTube is definitely not my first priority, and it never will be. But yeah, like I said, um, hit the notification button to be notified when I, or hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video, because it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of sporadic. Um, and I enjoy YouTube, but it is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And so I want my videos to not just be a waste of your time, because time is precious, and um, I want them to be encouraging and helpful and all of that. And I don't want to just make worthless videos just to just to put a video out. I want them to be worth everybody's time. I'm going to be showing her nursery and a bathroom remodel and Christmas videos and that kind of thing. And I want to say thank you guys so much for your comments and for your support and just for your excitement about this new baby. Troy and I read every single comment on our la on my last video introducing her and we just appreciate you guys so much and I we felt the prayers, you know, labor was long and birth was so difficult, but um, I remember thinking how people are praying and that just meant so much to us. I probably won't be sharing a birth vlog. I'm sorry for those of you that love birth vlogs. I love them too. We were actually not allowed to film the birth. Um, I have a few pictures, but we were not allowed to film the birth. And you know, and in the end, I was so okay with that because um, I don't know if I would have ever put a birth vlog out. It was the most like special and it's almost sacred. It, it really was sacred time in our lives and it was so unbelievably it was just the best best experience like like yeah if you've had a baby you know that when they put that baby on your chest that is the most surreal amazing amazing moment and it honestly felt too special to put out into the world and so I told Troy afterwards that yeah I don't think that I would have even posted a birth vlog because it was I love watching other people's, but for me, it was so special and, and, and sacred. Like, I just couldn't just put it out there for everybody to see. Like, it was such an intimate, awesome time. And it was a worshipful experience, honestly. And um, if I can say that through the pain, oh, because it was painful. Obviously, always is, right? But, so there will not be a birth vlog. I might share bits and pieces of the birth story, you know, here and there in my in my videos or whatever, but there won't be a specific video just talking about birth is, is what I'm trying to say. And I would love to know what you guys would like to see in the future. I can't promise to deliver, <laughs> um, but it is fun to see what, what videos you enjoy the most. I personally like tips and that kind of thing, so I'll be doing some of those too. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for being here. I really don't know why you're here, <laughs> but I appreciate I appreciate you guys for spending your time here when you can be anywhere else. Thanks for your congratulations, and yeah, Troy and I, like I said, we appreciate you all and for supporting our family and um, for just being here. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. I think it's like one of the best feelings in the world. <laughs> Hold my hand a little.